too. Did you hear? I was working on another mod. And this one actually got released, sort of. Um, 30 years ago, on 5th May, there have been released the shareware version of the Wolfenstein 3D. Which everyone celebrated as the anniversary, which is not fully right, because the proper full re release was about a month later. I'm not sure if there is an exact, exact date when it was, but it was somewhere in the June. And that's why we made a mod to celebrate the shareware release, which is also only episode 1. And more is coming in a month. I hope. <laughs> um, but that's probably stuff most people know. So anyways, about this thing. We have been working together with several people to put this together. And I would like to thank them now. I hope I don't forget someone. If I do, feel free to bash me. Uh, so... For music, you can blame Astro Creep, but I think he made a really good job with their remixes. Well, you we can judge it soon. Um, on the team, we have also Nexian, who did the programming. We have quite some people doing the art, which would be um, Gerov, Justizam, Nep, Orca, and Triss, if I remember right. I think I didn't forget anyone. Some did more, some did less, but... It would be a bit too much to mention who did what exactly, I think, so let's just keep it at that. Uh, maps are done by three people. Serpents, which did three. Thomas, who did six. We have ten maps together, that leaves one more map, which is extra map by Gerov. I hope I didn't screw it up. Um, on the team we have also Ryusama, who gave us a brilliant voice acting and that leaves me i think only and i was working mainly on the enemy frames i hope i didn't forget anyone in case i did they are all mentioned in the credits if you can read them out, because the specific image of the credits was done by Nep, And it's a little bit cryptic maybe, but I love it. It's a really nice messed up design. Uh, here's all the title screen. The thing about working in a team, it's also hard to mention who did what exactly, because we were exchanging a little bit here and there. And... Yeah, that's how it goes in that team, I guess. As long as everyone is mentioned in the credits, I guess it's fine. Um, okay, let's get to the game itself. I'll just close some windows. Because I have a little bit mess on the screen. Okay. The story was written by serpents, I think, but ideas um ideas come from everyone a bit. Which I guess I should also thank Wolf Guy who sticked along the development time. Kane a little bit. I'm not sure if anyone else was taking part in the chats. I prefer to not read it out loud, but the story goes a little bit like this. Um, VJ is old. It's sometime in the future, and... Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, I hope you don't find the story a bit silly. The idea goes like this. Um, As you might know, it's... I think it's not even official, but it's said that the Doom guy is um, grandson or some other relative of BJ. And the story we came up with is that 
God, I am terrible at this, but only because if <laughs> I have to speak it out loud, that sounds a bit silly. Okay, with our seriousness. Mm. BJ is old and his grandson is having... Um, is being sent away on a Mars mission. And because of that, he can take off his grandfather. So he's forced to put him to a... Um, retirement home? I think that's the English name. Sorry about that. A retirement home and... Um, yeah, he puts him into one, hoping everything gonna be great, they're gonna take care of him there. But by accident, he's choosing a um, retirement home for veterans, but he doesn't check which team the veterans have been at. And that leads to a bit awkward situation, in which BJ is surrounded by retirement Nazis, which triggers... Uh, Sort of a shell shock reaction and fun starts all over again. Here we have the credits again. I think I didn't skip anyone. All right, I think I said Nep before. If you don't know who Nep is, he's also known as Redimus on the forum. And I think that would be kind of it. So yeah, there is not really a deep story, but I am not a good storyteller. If you wanna go and read, read me. It's written in way better style and it's way more entertaining than I can talk. So sorry about that. Um, now about the mod itself. Um, we ha I was trying to keep it in a classical style to not have too many uh, changes but some are required and we wanted to also make the mod fun so we are making mod about old people so the first thing that comes to mind to make the game slower but we don't want to have it too slower it's not gonna be fun to play so we had to go with some compromises and I will try to show a little bit what we are doing here. And yeah, well, always the best way to have opinion about the game is just go download it and play it yourself, so you know, you don't have to sit here and listen to me. Uh, the biggest thing about the controls is that you can choose the vintage colors. Um, I personally like the Novio, I will show you the difference. Uh, we were messing up a little bit with the palette. The graphics for the mod were made in the original palette. Um, and after I made a new palette, which is uh, colored... It's not full sepia, it's in direction of sepia, but it's not full sepia. If it would be full sepia, we would lose a little bit too much colors and I didn't want that. Um, I'll try to keep this one on, but in case you really don't like the colors, for whatever reason, go and you feel free to change it. As you can see, we are prepared to do six episodes, but I, I don't think it's gonna happen. We are planning to do two more at least, if everything goes well. We are in the middle of it. But for now, we have the first episode with ten levels. And as you can see, we are trying to keep it vanilla style, so we're replacing the old graphics, old and classic old graphics with new ones, which are old, if you know what I mean. Difficulty levels, um, this is pretty standard stuff, but you may notice that there is a new difficulty, and I will talk about it soon. I think it's a little nice touch that the Difficulty levels have some explanation to what they are. Which, of course, jokes all over the place. So, we start in the retirement house. And as you see, this is how it looks with the vintage sepia colors. And just for a moment, I will 
show you. You can change it at any time you wanna. You can change the palette at any time. And this is how it was basically designed. This is the colors we were working in, which is the um, the classic palette. But I do like those aesthetics, except maybe the hat face, because the colors melt, melt a little bit too much together. I might need to change that in the full release. I am really proud of this dog animation. I think it turned out really great. As you can see, there is more blood splatter. Um, we thought that since the mod idea is pretty silly, with the enemies being old and everything, that having some more realistic blood going on the walls and so on gonna uh, balance it a little bit. The enemies also got a little bit slower. And they got new sounds. I think the sounds were mainly done by Orca and one liners by Ryu. The shadows might sometimes look a bit weird, like this shadow doesn't make sense because they are um, universal shadows for all the objects. They are programmed. They are not drawn by hand. It's to save some work for the artist. So there is a shadow added after. With the program, not by hand by the artist. <coughs> I don't want this to be a playthrough, I just want to look around a little bit, have some fun, try to explain some stuff, if I have... if I don't forget about anything. One of the biggest change about the gameplay is what we did to the weapons. Because we wanted to them to be a little bit different. Because of the sepia you might not see it so much. I will change the colors for a little bit. As you see the weapons are recolored. That's because they're old. They got rusty. And rusty guns can get stuck. And this is what can happen. Uh, not sure where I can find a machine gun here, but uh, it's mainly with the faster shooting guns that could be that the gun's gonna be getting stuck, getting broken. And that's intentional, that's not a bug, that's a feature. Um, but to make it fair... Um, how to say it? It would be a little bit unfair if you are having low health and you rely on your gun to survive and then get stuck. That's why it's not gonna happen. The gun is not going to get stuck when you have low health. So don't worry, you can be annoyed by the gun being broken every now and then, but we try to keep it fair. The pistol also got a little bit um, tuned up, it's more accurate, and you can see we have bullet holes now. They are not perfectly calculated maybe, sometimes they might look off, but don't worry about that, it's not that important, it's just fun little effect. You can also see sometimes, oops. Try to show it in a moment. Oh, 
Let's try. Good fun. You can see uh, lines of how bullets are flying. Because you know, bullets also got slow. They are yeah, not hit scans anymore. Okay, they are hit scans. It's just a placebo effect, but that doesn't matter. Just enjoy the blood splatters. I hope the weapons are feeling good when you play the game. I think they are nicely balanced, even if they sometimes get stuck and so on. Oh, here we have a machine gun. If I don't die. <laughs> As you see, it's also rusty. So yeah, don't expect rusty machine gun to work perfectly. I am almost dead, but let's go back to vintage colors. If you keep hearing some weird sounds in the background, that's coughing of the enemies. Don't worry, everything is fine. And now the biggest feature of them all. If you're lost, if you don't know what to do with yourself, if you can't find a way, if you keep dying all the time, you can always start over and choose to ult for this shit difficulty. Because it has a special feature. First of all, it has a crosshair glasses to help you aim. And we have this neat thing here. You hear some weird sound? That means it's idling. It's in case you find track of it to find it again. This is a guide dog. It's gonna help you go through the levels. So you just all need to do is to go um, do it and activate it. And if you follow it up, it will guide you through the level. I guess you should try to not lose track of it. The sound that you just heard didn't play, got played to be fully. Maybe it can be again in a moment. Let's try again. There we go. Uh, it's from Danger 5. It's a brilliant show. If you get a chance, go and watch it. The dog is gonna guide you through the whole level. Maybe not the shortest path, but the best path you can take. So it's gonna take you through all the keys. Where did it go? show you the way, sometimes it's gonna show you the secrets and it's programmed to also talk to you and entertain you. It has quite a lot of one-liners with different trivia, jokes, um, also info about enemy count in the level, how many enemies are left on the level, and yeah, it's just a guide dog. Pretty good one. So just let it guide you. Ah, didn't see you. Maybe you should also make it that it gives you some health. Sometimes yes, I'm almost dead already. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to pick up stuff. Maybe it's some sort of idea. Oh. But 
if you don't wanna use the dog to guide you, don't worry. We don't have auto map. But there is something else you can do. Let me just get rid of those guys so they don't disturb me. Okay. I will still show the weapons. We have a cane, cause yeah. I f we thought it's gonna be more funny than just a knife. And I think it it's actually pretty fun to punch people with it. Might be just me, but I find this quite um, enjoyable, like a good feedback. Um, I forgot which key was it for it. Let's check. Options, customized controls. Um, I think it's the Mark one. If you see the this here, Mark thing, letter E. Let's see what does the what does it do. It changes basically the weapon to something else, and you get uh, postcards that you can drop. How do you drop them? You can drop them and mark your way. So in case you find yourself in a maze and you wanna throw some breadcrumbs, like in what's the name of that story? Answer and Gret Gretel. In Polish, my native language, they have different names. And as you can see, you can drop them. They are limited. Um, they are using the art from the original game from the episode screens so as you can imagine there are six of them so use them wisely the number of them is restarting at the um, beginning of each level and this is the last one Top. and then you don't have any more so yeah use them wisely um, and I think you can't pick them up again. I don't know if people are willing to use the cards often enough that maybe we should program also some way to pick them up, but for now this is what you get. Um, so yeah, I think the mod is fun to play. I highly recommend to go and try it out on yourself by yourself. If you like it, you can come to our Discord server where the team is usually hanging out and tell us what you like about it, what you don't like about it. We are open for suggestions. But we are also open to ignore them in case they are, are stupid or anything. But yeah, you can just come and tell us about it. Link gonna be in the description. Download link in description and I will be throwing in Astro's music to a playlist on YouTube because I think the playlist is and uh, the songs are quite nice to listen to. I think that's all I was planning to show for now. Stay in tune for the next episodes coming soon. I hope, God I hope they're coming soon. I would still want to say thanks a lot for the help from all the team because alone I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't be in the mood to work for this but that's what the working with team is for to push each other to create something and yeah, I think this was a nice community mod anyways, you can feel free to tell me what you think about it I am talking way too much today, <laughs> I think this is good enough <laughs>